sitting out here at the front of my house. Um, I was praying and deep breathing, trying to <laughs> relax and be calm. I have to go in there and clean it up. We had a really big weekend. I just want everyone to know before they see my house and judge me, Saturday it was really clean. It was beautiful. And then Sunday we had a huge, huge day where we, um, we rushed out to church in the morning. Lily, you're right. Okay. We rushed out to church in the morning, um, quite late to church. Um, but yeah, because of the big rush, it gets messy, you know. And then we rushed back really quickly, had a really fast lunch, and had to be right back out the door because to drop the kids off to Dave's mum and dad's house. And Dave and I went and ministered at a friend's church. Um, with, with our music and we loved it. It was such a special time. But by the time we picked up the kids and went back home, it was their bedtime, so it was a big rush to bed. So what you're going to see in there is like a... I don't really know how to explain it. It's pretty bad. I just want to point out as well that uh, we try with our homeschooling to do four days a week so that always leaves one day to be very flexible um, so usually if we've had a big weekend and often we do I will use the Monday as our flexible day just to get back into life get everything reorganized so that we can have a smooth rest of the week for our learning
thanks everybody for coming along and cleaning with me today. Um, we got it done. I have to be honest, that one was a bit harder. I just, I just, yeah, that was tough. But we pushed through. I didn't sleep really good last night. And I had one of those nights where you, you're sound asleep and then you wake up and it's like your body's just full of adrenaline and you're kind of in between sleep and awake. You're not really sure where you are. So it wasn't really restful. And when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel like I had rested. I felt like I could sleep for another five hours. But you know, as mums, we just have to get up and keep going. So I just would encourage any of you, if you're going through anything that you just have to kind of push yourself through, just keep going. One step in front of the other, baby steps, every step counts. And you know what? You'll get it done. So thanks again for coming along. And I'll see you next time on Strong Minds Soft Heart. Bye.